There are a few folders on my desktop, so let me show you the contents of this folder. I'm actually looking for the textbook of 8th standard, the mathematics textbook of 8th standard. The only way I will find the file that I'm looking for is if I open each of these files by double clicking on it and seeing what's in it. This one is the 9th standard. I'm looking for the 8th standard. So this is not the one I'm looking for. I close it. Let's say I open another one. Hopefully it's this one. No, it's not. It's the 10th standard and so on and so forth till the time I really find the file I'm looking for. A better way to save these files would have been to name the files appropriately so that by reading the name of the file I know what the contents of that file would be so let me close this folder and open this folder which is way better so this one very specifically says this is fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth so this is the file I'm perhaps looking for let me open that and that's the eighth standard textbook yes this is the one I was looking for it was much more simpler and easier to do this and this is the ninth standard and so on and this is possible because we have named the files appropriately so that it's a good representation of the contents of the file that's one part another part is that we need to keep them in appropriate folders for example let's say I'm teaching 8th standard maths for 8th standard and I'm teaching arithmetic specifically chapter 1 and the unit 1 of chapter 1 and there are a few files that I use in my classroom while I'm teaching that unit and I know all of those files that I need are stored in this folder so let me show you the contents of this folder this folder contains all the files I need not just for the unit one of chapter one of eighth standard maths but it contains everything it contains about some of the history it contains some of the geometry it contains some of the geography it contains everything in one big folder and again I'm not sure which ones should be used and which ones should not be used while teaching unit one of chapter one of eighth mathematics a better way to store store this would be like as in this folder i open this folder and i know it's divided neatly into eighth ninth and tenth standard i know i'm teaching eighth I'm now I'm teaching math I will not touch the other folders they all contain files that are appropriate for teaching those subjects I know I need to click on maths arithmetic and I know I'm looking for chapter 1 and unit 1 and these are the files I need I don't need any other files I don't need any fewer files so all the files I need for teaching chapter 1 unit one of chapter one for eight standard mathematics is stored under one folder quickly let us learn how to create folders and subfolders so that we can appropriately keep our files under the right kind of folder so let me give you a demonstration on we have kept the science folder empty so let's go ahead and create some folders under the science folder go under the science and I create a new folder and I call it chapter 1 let's look at it again I right click anywhere click on new folder and I give it an appropriate name and within this folder if I want to create subfolders I can double click I know I am in chapter 1 folder. This here tells me the path where I am. I am on the desktop teaching learning materials 8th standard science chapter 1. I can create a folder called unit 1 and I can save the files under it. So creating subfolders and folders is very simple. So wherever you want to create a folder all you need to do is right click and choose new folder creating a subfolder is also simple let's say I'm an 8th standard I want to create folders within the science folder so I double click I know that I'm in the science folder 
right click and click new folder so that new folder created becomes a subfolder of the science folder so quickly in this video we learned why it is important to provide appropriate file names and also how we can organize our files and folders in a structure that makes it easy for us to access and use it on a daily basis.